Hey guys, I got another lock in a box. Uh, just unwrapped it. Here's what we're looking at. It looks, just looking at the Bible there, it looks like a five pinner. And I got a little note. Um, I folded down his address, but it's from Eric Day. He says, uh, Bill, thank you for checking this thing out for me. I'm getting the hang of spools of mushrooms. Still having trouble with serrated pins, so probably got serrated in it. Anyway, this thing's giving me an awful time. See what you think. Sorry I don't have the key. Uh, I got this from a locksmith friend's junk box. All right. So, no telling what's in there. It looks like it's been picked a lot, or at least attempted. You can see a lot of scratches there. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So since he said having trouble with serrated, that's kind of what I would expect he's got inside of this thing. So I'm going to use the thick Peterson wrench on the top, and it's still a little small, but I think I think that'll work. And we're going to try a Peterson gem, the thin one, 15 thousandths. And let me just zoom in just a bit here. Maybe you can see what's going on a little better. There we go. All right, all the way to the rear, apply a little tension, and let's find some serrated pins. Uh, I'm feeling normal pins. I'm getting feedback as if there's a spool. Good feedback there. Eric, I'm not feeling any serration, serrated pins in here. I'm not getting that crunchiness that would be the big clue that we've got some serrations in it. Pin number two is being a little difficult, but he might already be home. Double check everybody here. Got a little bit of a false set. But these are not acting like spools. You get feedback as if they are spools. And there we go. I probably homemade pins, or if somebody has repinned this, I would expect we're going to find some of those weird mushrooms that taper on the top, or these might even be T pins. So let's let's take a look. Let's quit thinking about it and let's just confirm it since we're not only at what three minutes. Look inside here. Okay. I don't have a key, so I can't screw this up. So let's see if we can't take this clip off and just shove that thing right out of there and see what happens. Without turning the keyhole. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we're still turned. Pins are going to be on top. Let's start sliding this thing out. Okay, there's our pins on top. And let me get a pair of tweezers. Oh, crap. Just dropped a pin. 
Let's find. Let's get the other ones out, and then I'll pick that one up off of the floor. I can see it. I just can't reach it. So that was pin five. There we go. They are. That's a T pin. That's a T pin. That's another T pin. Oops. It's kind of an odd shaped core here. It'll be fun putting these back together. There's another T pin. So we got four T pins for sure. Let me see if I can pick oop, pick that one up off of the ground. On the bottom. Key pins. We had a just a straight up, oops, normal, 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 and a normal. It looks like we had a short pin hiding behind two long ones, and then we had another, well, medium pin hiding behind a long one in the back. So that might have given you a little bit of trouble, Eric. Hold on just a second. Let me find that other pin. I said I saw him, but I'm, I don't think, this is the one I was looking at, but this is definitely not him. This is out of a Ruko lock, so I think I didn't sweep the lock lab good enough. I can't imagine this was inside of there. So I would bet that it was probably five of these T-pins, Eric, that was giving you trouble. So when, they, when you get to the shear line, these flop over on the side. They might lead you to believe that you've got reached the shear line, but you've really got a little bit more to go. So you kind of got to massage them into place. So you feel it break, and then you just kind of slide in until you do feel the, the shear line give just a little bit more, and that'll tell you you've reached the shear line with these T-pins. And, yeah, I wonder if I can find some more of these. These are really cool pins. I'll look around for them. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Eric, thank you for the lock. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.